A deal signed in Nairobi that has been months in the making. But in Kampala, where much of the work has been done to reach an agreement, warnings that the situation is delicate. The problems of Congo to be solved in a durable way, you need to let the Congolese internal actors resolve those problems themselves. How? Either Kabila has to build an effective military infrastructure to defeat the rebellion, or he has to begin a process of political integration and accommodation that can allow the different disgruntled groups to be accommodated within the political process in Kinshasa. Currently, more than 30 rebel groups operate in the east of DRC, sending thousands of Congo refugees fleeing to neighboring countries. Uganda has brokered talks between the DRC and M23. And experts warn a peace agreement with the M23 leaves the issue only partly solved. To resolve the issues of armed rebellion in Congo, you need to strengthen the military capability of the state and the ability of the state to integrate different social groups within the society. If you come and defeat M23 today, you will have 20 other rebel groups springing up tomorrow because you have not addressed and aligned causes of rebellion, which is the crisis of governance. The document signed dissolves the M23 as an armed group and allows it to form a political party. The deal, however, does not provide provisions for amnesty for M23 commanders accused of crimes of humanity. The M23 was defeated last October by DRC forces backed by the UN Brigade. M23 commander Sultan Makenga and over 1,500 fighters surrendered to authorities in Uganda. There are suggestions, however, that the DRC now needs to take more responsibility for the instability it is facing. I, I think Congo has to be serious now about embarking on a process of domestic reform. I, I think there's been a tendency within Congolese politics to, to blame all of the country's problems on its neighbours, uh, particularly Rwanda and Uganda. It is hoped the deal will formally and finally conclude a rebellion that has lasted almost two years. But here in Uganda, analysts warn it is fragile and will be compromised if any of the provisions are not abided by. Leon Sanyange, SABC, Kampala.